Hello everyone. Today I will show you my first ZMK based keyboard. It's called the Blue Shifley. Uh, so the the ZMK firmware is different from QMK. It is uh, uh, wireless first, so they support a Bluetooth uh, keyboard firmware. Let me show you how the keyboard looks like. So if you are familiar with this kind of uh, mechanical keyboard, this one follows the form factor of the another keyboard called uh, um, Le Chiffre. They are actually designed by the same designer, TJ. Uh, but, but the other one is not uh, wireless. Let me show you. I actually have the other one too. So they are 30% keyboard. Um, uh, at the bottom row, there's only two keys, which is kind of uh, uh, kind of too too few for me. And this wireless keyboard is very nice. It's uh, super compact. You can see it's actually just a PCB. It's not really a case. And uh, I think there's also a, a case available. Uh, it's open source, and you can just print it out. But uh, I just have the one without the the case. So it's super thin, and it's also using the uh, the very uh, skinny uh, switches and also keycaps. And you can compare; they are they are super different in width. Or compare with my corn; it's super thin. Okay, let me also show you how. Uh, the sounds like I actually never had this kind of uh, switches and keycaps before and uh, it feels it's super light I think it's like 30 gram or 35 gram so you just need to touch it a little bit and it will register doesn't really have too much sound if you're interested I can also show you my key maps on 30 30 percent keyboards Okay, uh, this is my first uh, ZMK keyboard. Uh, the firmware is actually very, very nice. It's a completely rewrite, so it, it doesn't really depend on the QMK firmware. So you actually don't need to download any uh, the, the source code. All you need to do is have a configuration file, and then you can register for some uh, ZMK actions. And after those compilation, it will automatically generate the firmware for you. Then you just uh, drag it into the uh, the keyboard and it will work. So what you really need is a very small configuration file. And uh, for many famous key uh, wireless keyboards, uh, you, can, uh, you can automatically find the someone else's configuration file and just copy it and then make your modifications. Uh, in my case, I need to find the original uh, designer's uh, configuration file and then uh, modify on them. He actually hasn't updated for years and uh, there are some uh, small things I need to change. And uh, the Z ZMK firmware actually is very nice too. It has uh, more features. Uh, I don't know if it's really more, but it has many features that's not in the QMK. For example, for home row mod, uh, you can configure something uh, that will that will prevent the 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 shift to to shifted version uh, to register if you type beforehand, which is very nice to avoid uh, some confusions when when you type really fast. If you guys are interested, I can talk about how to uh, configure the MK as well. Okay, that's all I want to talk about today. Oh, oh, another small thing uh, you might be interested. So, for those wireless keyboard, you will need a, uh, you will need a battery. So this one has a very interesting battery. I've never seen this kind of battery before. It's a rechargeable button battery. Usually, you, uh, I saw people use some other batteries. Uh, and also for ZMK, you can uh, connect to. Uh, I think up to five devices, and you can cycle through them, which is also very convenient. Okay, that's uh, what I want to talk about today. Uh, thanks for watching.